Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here with a really fun video hop. Me and other designers are celebrating the latest release by Altenew. There are more than 20 videos showcasing the new products. You will find tons of inspiration using the new dies, stamps and the new ink pads down below in the description area. You will find the link to the next video as well as instructions on how you can enter the giveaways. There are tons of giveaways, just leave us all a comment and they will pick a winner from each video. So anyway, this month they have come up with pigment inks. These are called mixed media inks and this is a completely new collection of inks in Alta New. I like that they come in sets of four, as you can see, all the way from lighter to darker. But of course you can get them separately. The ink pad is nice and juicy, pigment inks give you a beautiful uh, stamped image without splotches at all. They take a few minutes to dry but they totally worth it and just make sure that you don't uh, run your fingers over the ink before it's completely dry or otherwise you will smudge it. Now if you run your um, heat gun over that it's going to turn permanent so no matter what you do on top of it it's not going to smudge. So here I made sure that this is completely dry and now I'm spraying lots of water on top of it and you see that I am not able to move it at all, which means that it is completely permanent. For my card today I'm using this stamp set which is called Nature's Blossom. It is one of the layering stamps but you can see that you get the outlines as well so you can stamp the leaves and the flowers and color them with your favorite medium. For today's card I'm going to use the layers however and I will omit the black line completely just because I want to have a completely different look and uh, I will use the mixed media inks, the new inks, so you can see them in action. And since this is part of a video hope it means that you have to watch many more videos for inspiration and that's why I'm going to keep this video short. For my flowers I'm going to use three colors from the red shades and I started with the second in line which is color, coral berry so I didn't use the lightest one at all and check out the great impression that I got and that's just because this is pigmenting, nice and juicy and stamps always beautifully. For the next layers of my flowers I'm using ruby red now once I stamp this I'm going to forget that I'm working with mixed media ink and I'm going to touch the ink and you can see that I did a booboo there. However it doesn't really matter since I'm going to cut them out these flowers so you won't be able to tell. For the last layer I went with grapevine which is the darkest and I'm doing that a couple of times since I like to have that um, deep shadows on my flowers. Now I'm going to move on and start stamping the leaves. For the leaves there are three different layers, however since I usually tuck them underneath the flowers and you are not able to see lots of details, I'm just going to use two layers so that I can keep it simple and quick. So the first layer was with forest glades and then for the details on top I'm going to use the evergreen. Now you can stamp the centers with yellow directly on top or stamp in different uh, paper, cut it out and stick it on top if you want to have some dimension on your flowers. Now I use the matching dies to cut out flowers and leaves and I'm ready to put my card together. As a background I decided to go with one of my paper pads. This is one by Altenew from a previous collection and I absolutely love the one that has that wood grain design on top. I like the fact that it adds something on the background, so it's not completely plain, but at the same time it's so subtle, so it still allows the focal points to pop. I trimmed that to be slightly smaller than the standard card, I'm going to use foam tape at the back and stick it on top of a pre-folded card that's 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. Then on top I added the flowers and the leaves to create a little flower composition on one uh, corner of my card. And I also die cut the word hello, this is one of my favorite sentiments by Altenew. I'm going to stick it down and I'm going to add a secondary sentiment that says you are so kind to complete the sentiment there. And this comes from another favorite uh, stamp set by Altenew which is called Sentiment Strips. And all I did was to white emboss it on black cardstock and then I cut it out with one of my banner dies. Here are some close up photos on the card that I made for today. Don't forget this is part of a video hop, there are lots of giveaways, check out the description to find out who is next on the video hop. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired and until next time, stay safe!